Last week, Liam Bartlett exposed the shameful trade of live sheep from Australia to the Middle East. It's certainly lucrative, worth a quarter of a billion dollars a year. But the conditions the livestock endure on the three-week voyage across the Indian Ocean is shockingly cruel. This is vision exporters never wanted anyone to see. But Fazal Ullah, a young navigation officer on the Awasi Express, was so concerned by the mistreatment of the sheep, he broke the ship's rules and made secret recordings on his phone. You felt you had a personal obligation to do that? Yeah, I did. Because of the suffering of animal, the severity of the suffering. For Faisal, the worst part was when the sheep reached the blast furnace conditions of summer in the Persian Gulf. On one day alone, more than 800 animals died from heat stress. In that extreme heat, they almost, almost would have been cooking, wouldn't they? Exactly, yeah. It is as same as putting animals into the oven. I mean, you are just putting live animals into the oven. At home, you were outraged and appalled. We received thousands and thousands of comments and the overwhelming majority demanded immediate action. The new Federal Agriculture Minister, David Littleproud, was just as angry. You know what? No one's beyond reproach in this and I don't give a rats. I'm gonna go and make sure the sun shines in on this. Uh, it's too important to us to not get this right. Trying to get it right, authorities banned the latest ship from sailing from Fremantle until it meets new welfare standards. And in a very disturbing development, a few days ago we received this secretly recorded video. It was taken earlier this month outside the main abattoir in Doha, Qatar. Animals Australia tell us it's footage of Australian sheep after they were offloaded from a ship. Two workers can clearly be seen trying to herd the animals and repeatedly beating them using sticks. And when that doesn't work, the sheep are literally thrown around like rag dolls. It's distressing to watch. But thankfully, in this case, the Department of Agriculture has acted quickly and immediately suspended the supply of animals to this abattoir while it investigates further. As we said last week, this is not the way hard-working Australian farmers would ever expect their livestock to be treated. Surely this latest vision is further evidence the entire live sheep export trade is in desperate need of a major overhaul.